Hello to all the conference attendees. I'm Becca Ballant, the Congresswoman-elect from the state of Vermont, and I very much wish I could be there with you in person to celebrate my historic win. I will be the very first woman to represent Vermont in Congress, and I am so honored to be going to DC to represent this state that I love so much. And I'm very grateful uh, to J Street PAC for support in my race, not just because I value the partnership with J Street and truly appreciate the financial support, but also because this relationship is going to become increasingly important and it will certainly grow stronger as we together face the serious dangers and threats to our democracy and to democracies around the globe. We've all watched in horror as so many citizens of the world and of our own nation seem to have forgotten the terrible, painful lessons of the Holocaust. We see fascism and authoritarianism on the rise globally. And we see our own homegrown white supremacists, anti-Semites and hate mongers getting purchased with far too many political leaders. We see that there are a significant number of members of Congress who do not believe in free and fair elections. I know the theme of the conference this year is living our values defending democracy. I'm grateful to you for being so clear and so direct about what's at stake. The threat to our democracy is why I ran for Congress. And I'm not alone. That's true for many of the freshmen coming in with me. As some of you know, but many of you may not, the rise of authoritarianism is not theoretical to me. And it's particularly personal and frightening to me. My grandfather, Leopold Ballant, was killed on a forced march from Mount Housing concentration camp in the last few weeks of the war. I was taught from a very young age that democracies don't fail overnight. They fail little by little as our rights are stripped away, as norms are eroded, as people are scapegoated, as fellow citizens are demonized, as the press is attacked. It gives me chills to say that we are seeing these signs here in our own country now. And we must all do everything that we can to stand against those who seek to destroy our democracy. And we have to be ever vigilant and tend to those threats overseas as well, including in Israel. Following the election in Israel, I was very moved by the words of Jeremy Ben-Ami. He wrote, the election results in Israel are deeply troubling for all who care about Israel and about liberal democracy look globally. For those whose core values of justice, equality and freedom are fundamentally at odds with those of the parties and the leaders that won. And he continued, an ultra-right Netanyahu government should force a moment of serious reckoning of all Americans who care about the nature of the U.S.-Israel relationship and who care about a just, equal, and democratic future for both Israelis and Palestinians. Ben Ami speaks my mind, and I will be a strong supporter and partner in this work. I will be a strong ally in Congress fighting for democratic ideals, human rights, and the constant, constant pursuit of truth and peace. I look forward to doing this critical work together, and I'll be taking a seat in Congress that has long been occupied by a great friend to J Street, Peter Welch. I know he will continue to be a strong ally and friend as he moves over to the Senate, and I am eager for us to work together on these issues that we both care about so deeply and that we know are important to our constituents. Thank you most sincerely for your support. Onward with courage, all of us.